Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Jane, and today I decided to film a tag video that I came up with, though I'm sure it's probably been done before. This is not the most original idea in the world, but I thought it would be fun because I just did uh, Mary's tag, um, and I'll link her channel down below. Um, you can only pick one bag to carry for the rest of your life. And since I just filmed that video, I decided to go ahead and film this one too, which is one I've been thinking about for a couple of weeks. And I'm going to tag a whole bunch of people down in the description box and hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to contribute if you want to, no pressure. So this tag is called, you can only keep four SLGs from your collection. Hypothetical situation, obviously, you know, it's, uh, it's just pretend, but if you could choose only one wallet, one key holder, one cosmetics case or catch-all, and one card holder from all your SLGs, what would they be? Now, for some people, that might be really easy because I know there are some people in this little YouTube community who aren't obsessed with collecting SLGs. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I know I have too many, though actually I have um, cut myself off from buying new SLGs. And I don't think I've bought any new SLGs in several months. I think over the summer I did, I think this, this might've been the last one I bought. My, um, my Damier Aben Pochette Clay. And I think I got that over the summer and I love it. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm on a ban <laughs> uh, of buying SLGs because I have enough. I have too many and you know, what am I going to do? So. With that in mind, I decided to see what would happen if I could only limit myself to four. Now this is pretty hard um, because I do have quite a few, but I tried to think about it practically. Like what would be the most practical and yet still luxurious and beautiful items that I could use every single day in my handbag. And so I'm gonna start with a wallet. This one was really hard because I do have quite a few wallets. My favorite wallets are Louis Vuitton. And it was really hard to pick because I do rotate between them all the time. But finally, I did decide on the Monogram Multicolor Zippy Coin Purse in the black multicolor pattern. I love this wallet because it's very compact. It's very well organized. You've got just nothing in there but a bunch of card slots. The inside is a beautiful pink, fuchsia pink color. It's got a nice smooth zipper and it fits in almost every handbag. And one of the reasons I picked this is because it is a limited edition. They don't make this anymore. It's hard to find in good condition because the way that they printed this canvas back when it came out was really prone to chipping. And this one has almost no chipping on the pattern. So I got this secondhand from Fashion File um, almost two years ago. And I think I've taken pretty good care of it. And I love this wallet. So this is the wallet I chose. Okay, so the next category is key holder. And this one, it was kind of a toss up between these two. The pochette clay, which is an awesome little SLG because you can use it for keys or cards or coins or even just tiny little items. It's awesome and I love these. And the other option, which is the six key uh, from Louis Vuitton in the Damier Graphite. Now, this thing is also beloved and awesome. And actually, this is the one I would pick. And it was very close though. And fortunately, this is just hypothetical. The reason I picked this one, obviously it holds a bunch of keys. I have put my car key fob in here before, though it didn't really fit that great. 
And I do wish they would do something about that, but Louis Vuitton does not like to redesign their classics at all. I love that this has silver hardware. Because of the nature of this piece, because there's all that metal touching metal, uh, when you have the gold hardware, it's not real gold, so it does chip and flake pretty bad with all these metal things. But the silver stays in really good shape because it's not, you know, brass plated. There's a little pocket behind the keys where if you wanted to just throw um, a couple of cards in there, you wouldn't really need anything else if you were going extra downsized. And it's just a great size. It just, you can hold it right in your hand. It feels really good. <laughs> and I love it. I love this one. And I'm really glad I got it in this, this particular colorway too, just because I think it will wear a lot better. I've been using this almost a year. And if you look closely, you can see how that little button there, it doesn't have any chipping or tarnishing or anything that I can see. So yeah, so this is gonna be my one key holder. All right, so next on the list is your one cosmetics case or catch-all. And I, again, had a really hard time with this because I have been known to addictively collect pouches. <laughs> I have them from Coach, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, um, yeah, even if you count Chanel, even if you count this one. Now this one I did not pick because it's just too small and thin. I went with the Gucci Medium Ophidia Cosmetic Case as my forever catch-all. And the reason I did not pick uh, the mini pochette from Louis Vuitton, even though I do have five of them, is because this holds more and it does not have a chain attached to it that you can't take off. It's just a case. It's in coned canvas, which means it's really durable. The zipper is uh, dome shaped, so you can open it up really wide. I'm using it right now. It's just, you know, full of stuff. It's got lots of stuff in there. And yeah, I think it even has, it does not have any extra pockets inside, which is actually good because those can kind of get in the way. It's just one big open space with a nylon interior. And uh, it's beautiful. I really love the Ophidia line from Gucci. So this is the cosmetics case or catch-all that I picked. And finally, last on my list is just one card holder. And I do have, gosh, four card holders? Maybe, no, maybe five card holders. <laughs> I feel like I've got one from every brand. And so really, since they're all pretty much the same, I had to narrow it down to the one that just I think will wear the longest and that I just am more, most attached to. I don't know why, but it's the YSL. And this is the Matalas, Matalasse uh, Grand de Poudre card holder from Saint Laurent in the Opium Red, which is coming across a lot brighter on camera in person, this is very a very dark blood red. And it's just, it's a beautiful piece. I love this gold hardware. It's very durable. I've had this almost two years. I don't really see any signs of wear. And I carry it pretty frequently, though I do rotate almost all of my SLGs. It has two card slots right here, two card slots in the back, a center compartment, which has some cash in it. And it's very slim but it also has the little puffy quilting on it too, and you're good to go. So this is the card holder I would pick. Even though I love my Gucci card holder, I love my Fendi card holder, and I have a Tory Burch one that's pretty awesome, and then I have the Louis Vuitton coin card holder, which is actually more of a wallet, and that one was definitely a close runner-up for my favorite wallet, but it's really close to being a card holder anyway. <laughs> If I had to do this challenge over again tomorrow or next week or next month, I might pick four different things. But I thought this would just be fun to think about because, as I said, I have too many SLGs and I'm trying not to buy any more. Who knows when I'll buy another one? I think I would have to just sell a bunch to justify buying any more SLGs. Because when you think about it, like all these SLGs I have right in front of me, if I totaled up all that they're worth or all that I spent on them, that's one bag. Maybe, well, yeah, I could get a really nice bag. 
for all six of these. Is it six? Yeah. For all six of these, I could get a really nice bag. And you have to like keep that in mind when you're just dropping 200, 300, 500 here and there on SLGs. It adds up really quick. So anyway, that's just me trying to be more mindful. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate your support. Again, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to reach a thousand subscribers and uh, that would be a great uh, New Year's present for me. Also, my birthday is in the beginning of January, so let's say birthday present for me. Um, yeah, <laughs> if I tagged you down below, it'd be really fun if you do this tag. Even if I didn't tag you and you have a YouTube channel, go ahead and, and let me know if you're going to do this tag too. So I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.